Hello and welcome everyone. I'm your host, InfoGuides is my name that I go by here on YouTube and other social media. And in this video, I'm going to be kind of going over what we knew was coming. Uh, Salad AI warned us that they were changing their pricing structure. Well, that has now in place for a few days. And what's it mean for me? What are these prices change price changes doing for myself? Uh, I know th the short answer, but if this is what you're kind of interested in, please let me know in the comments below. How many salad rigs are you running? Uh, you know, uh, kind of what the hardware is like for it. And if you could, uh, thank you for joining me. But please hit the like, subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get the notifications so when I release new content. I much appreciate helping grow my channel in any way that you can help. And clicking on a subscribe button is simple. So much appreciated. Okay, so Salad has changed its pricing model. And I wanted to review what does this mean for a small time Salad AI workload miner? Uh, well, whatever you want to call us. Uh, what's it mean for me? Now, to review, I have in my portfolio, the last time you guys have seen uh, a video about what I've been doing here is I have a total, or had, I added a little, uh, I have two uh, gigabyte B550 gaming motherboards running uh, Radeon 9 5950X CPU chips. And this board over here is running 64 gig of memory. This board here is running 96 gig of memory. And then recently, I decided to pick up a third Ryzen 9 5950 identical motherboard and this one here is running 80 gigabytes of ram it's got 64 gig kit and 16 gig kit so 80 96 64 all three of these are running nvidia rtx 3060 video cards with 12 gig of ram these are not TIs. These are not anything uh, special. They're just simply the Radeon RTX 3060 video cards with 12 gig of RAM. Now, I recently purchased this hardware with the thought I'd be able to pay it off quickly. However, pricing has changed in Salad AI. Whoops. Uh, I'm not saying I overextended. I have the. I already had the money for uh, purchasing this secured. Um, it was extra money, so it it doesn't hurt me if I, it takes a long time to pay back this equipment. I'm not worried about that aspect because I buy smartly. I don't buy if I don't have the money to buy. So let's go over here to the website again and take a look at their pricing changes. So I don't have this, I have less than this. So if we come down here, this is what I have three of. Uh, it says I get, you know, 6.5 cents per hour when I get them on workload containers. Now, I don't know if this takes into account the CPU on the motherboard or the priority and all this. So. I'm not very clear on how to gauge the priority. Um, is that based on my card? What I don't know. Long story short is going to be, obviously, my profits have gone down. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, where I'm at right now, what I did before the pricing drop, and then where I'm at right now. and I have some numbers i can show you and some numbers well they just they're they're not all in just yet so 
Uh, so this is where the cards I'm running, which is basically almost the lowest of the low that they would support. Not the lowest ones, but pretty low. Not a problem. I'm cool with it. It is what it is. Uh, I do have a NVIDIA 2060. I don't know if it's six gig or higher. It might be a 2080, I can't remember. But I have one on my old mining rig. I'm gonna take a look at it because if it can run salad, I might spin that one up. I do have a motherboard I could throw at it. Uh, we'll see. Now let's take a look at salad. Okay. First in the last 24 hours, it has been horrible. Absolutely horrible. Compared to what I was doing. Now, there's a couple of factors of why. If we jump back over here and take a look at the picture, on these rigs, I rerouted my wiring. So what that means is the, the rig, the middle rig and the rig on the right, um, I name them salad one, salad two, and salad three, you know, creative naming. But I, uh, I purchased longer power cable here, so it's uh, not so tight as it was before. So I replaced the power cable here, uh, as well as uh, changed the network cabling a little bit, just to kind of tidy up the bundle of wires coming down the wall right here. Uh, because I did that, and I'm sharing one power supply to two rigs, I had to turn off Salad 1 and Salad 2. Those of you that are, have been into Salad for a while, you know once you turn a rig off, you got to wait through the queue to start getting workloads again. Well, I turned them off, set them back up at the exact same time. It, apparently, I wasn't paying attention to what days all this was happening. But I did this at the exact same, uh, exact same time that they changed pricing and that went live. So because of that, I'm currently in a situation where my rigs have not started to pick up work yet. Uh, so here you can see I've got one rig getting work. And it's this guy right here. Pretty sad. Well, in the seven day, and here, let's go to 30 day and turn off this. I was getting four or $5 a day, and this was only on two salad rigs. This was on my salad one and salad two rig. I also have two part-time rigs. One is my streaming computer, the one I'm recording on right now. Uh, but between the two part-time rigs and the two station uh, dedicated rigs, I was at a nice clean between four and five dollars a day. Uh, it did dip down, but then right here, around the 13th, is when I turned off everything and rewired. And when I did that, I lost all my workloads. <clears throat> well, a couple of them were between workloads. So I just haven't recovered from that. Now, I've done that in the past where I've turned off rigs and dropped way low, too. I did that here. Um, I recovered a little bit quicker because I was up here, and then I rebooted, I think, here. And then it took, you know, so you're looking at, it takes, this is just me speaking off the cuff. Looks like it takes about five days before you kind of get back into the swing of their queue. Uh, I'm hoping. Now that this has been three days, I think, since I've rebooted, I'm hoping to start see uh, these rigs start to get back into the queue a little bit and start landing a workload. I'm not expecting um, $4 workloads. I know what cards I'm on, but it would be nice if I could get two of the three rigs running again at about a buck fifty to $2 a day. Uh, that's kind of what I based purchasing the third one off of was at that price, I can pay off the hardware. If I'm making four to five dollars a day total, I can pay off the hardware in about three to four months. So I'm just waiting for things to recover. And now 
I did already get one payout here. So since I've been doing this, I have officially earned one full uh, $100 payout to PayPal. I have actually received it in my PayPal account within a couple of hours of requesting it. So I think the payouts were pretty quick. Um, perfectly happy with that structure. And so now we're just trying to recover, but this is where I'm at. Now with the pricing change, am I going to quit sale it and do something else? Actually, no, uh, here's, I'm hoping, like I said, I can get back up between four and $5 a day, but I now have a third rig in play to do that with. All right, so I'll have three dedicated rigs and I'll have the two part-time rigs. So if I can get back in there, I'm just gonna let them run. I'm happy with them running and seeing what they can collect for me. That being said, the reason I'm not going to try to jump over to Carlson or anything like that is because I do have uh, a GPU mining rig of eight video cards. They are Radian 6700 XT video cards. And those are what I'm going to look at trying to spin up on, a, uh, I believe Carlson's better than Pyron for those. Uh, they are currently very dirty and I'm in the process of cleaning those off so that I can look at turning them back on without, you know, all the caked on dust that they've been collecting. Now, it's also very hot here in Michigan still. Today, it's like 88 degrees outside. No, wait, my car said 92. So it's 92 degrees outside. Michigan hasn't has any rain in a while, like three or four weeks almost, which is strange. And so it's just hot and dry. So there's no way I want to turn on a GPU rig in my man cave until the weather gets uh, down into the 70s where I can just open the windows in here. Uh, they're all screened, but I can just open the windows and have easier airflow because I have not finished doing uh, my airflow design layout setup in my man cave that's all i gotta say guys let me know if you're doing sale ed ai workloads i'm curious how many rigs are you running i know most of you are running the much better video cards the difference i'm running the low-end video cards is because i've been getting them off of facebook marketplace for like 180 bucks and the prices are dropping so I can get them even cheaper now. A uh, coworker of mine got one for 100 bucks the other day off of Facebook Marketplace. So that's why I have high-end motherboards, pretty high-end CPU chips, but I'm running the low-end cards on purpose because a 4090 is way too expensive and I won't get the money back anytime soon anyway. So I'd rather run the low-end cards that are paid for than to go negative and pick up a 4090 series or, you know, a 4000 series. Anyhow, if you guys like this type of content, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it with your friends if you don't mind. I much appreciate it. And until next time, I'm your host, InfoGuides, and I'm here to tell you what little I know. Peace.